Fraticcio is a small village located at St. James's Valley. A beautiful yet harsh natural setting. Here on December the 19th, 1842, Luigi Guanella was born to Lorenzo and Maria Guanella, the ninth child of 13. I was born on the banks of the Rabiosa River, he said. Rabiosa means angry and Father Guanella would identify himself with that river that so well describes his own impulsiveness, tenacity and unrestrained activity. Still today, his birthhouse preserves the old warm and sober atmosphere that characterized the Guanella family, a true school of faith, sacrifice and generosity. Luigi was still a boy. When playing with his sister Caterina, he mixed water and dirt saying, when we will grow up, we will make soup like this for the poor. Luigi was seven years old when he had an indication of his future mission. An old man appeared to the boy at the back of the parish church, asking for some of the candies that he was holding in his hands, and then he disappears. In spring 1852, after his first communion, while making his thanksgiving in Gualdera, the Blessed Mother appeared and showed him his future charitable work, which filled him with an immense joy. At the age of 12, Luigi leaves his mountains and moves to the city of Como, where he attends school at the Gallio Academy, run by the Samascan Fathers. Six years later, he moves to the St. Abondio Seminary for the philosophy courses, followed by theology in the major seminary. Luigi Guanella is ordained a priest on May the 26th, 1866, at the bishop's residence. On May the 31st, he celebrates his first solemn mass in Prosto, where he spends his first year, and then in Savonio, a small hamlet in the Bregalia Valley, at the end of 3,000 steps, the only way to reach it. For eight years, with the precious help of his sister Caterina, Father Guanella carries out an intense pastoral activity. He runs school classes for children and adults. He brings to the Cotolengo house in Torino several disabled persons. He fosters vocations to the priesthood and religious life. He enlarges the parish church and its square and builds a new public laundry house and a cemetery. His dynamic personality soon brings him to greater things beyond his little parish limits. Father Bosco fascinates him, and in 1875, Father Guanello joins the Salesians in Torino. His vocation, however, is not with them. His bishop recalls him back to Como, and in 1878 he is appointed assistant pastor in Traona in Valtalina. He would work there for three years, and in a nearby closed Franciscan monastery, he opens a school for children who cannot attend school because of their poverty. In his dreams, that school was supposed to be the mother house of his foundations. Because of a merciless opposition from both his pastor and the local civil authorities, in 1881 he is forced to leave the parish. He spends the night of August the 25th, sleeping by a low wall at the side of the church of San Giacomo Filippo. The following day, he climbs the steep path leading to Olmo, where he is condemned to exile. It is at this extremely painful time that Father Guanella experiences firsthand God as a tender and loving father. In autumn, the bishop sends him to Pianello del Lario on Lake Como. Beginnings are marked by general suspicion, but after a while he takes the responsibility for a small hospice for orphans and elderly, run by a group of local consecrated ladies. Among them, Marcellina Borsata, who will become the co-foundress of the Daughters of St. Mary of Providence, and Chiara Borsata, who will be beatified in 1991. The hour of mercy finally strikes. From Pianello on April 1886, a boat brings to Como two sisters and some orphan girls, the first residents of the future Divine Providence House in Tommaso Grossi Street. 
The following year, Father Guanella signs in Laura under a big magnolia tree for the purchase of an old silk factory, La Abinda, where he moved sisters and the female division. From Como, Father Guanella's immense charitable heart brings him wherever there are needy to relieve. His heart, however, is still attached to his native valley. For years, his mind was revolving around a large land at the far north of Lake Como, named Pian de Spagna. 1900, he starts a great work of reclaiming the land and a colonia agricola, a new town called Nuova Olonio, and a house born around it. In 1903, Father Guanella takes over a house in Monte Mario in Rome for elderly and handicapped people, then moved to Via Aurelia Antica. The St. Pancrazio Basilica, Father Luigi opens a new house for handicapped. The year 1908 is very significant to him. March the 24th, he makes his religious vows with the first group of servants of charity and it in September, Pope Pius X grants the approval of the Daughters of St. Mary of Providence. 1912, at the Triomphal section of Rome, Father Guanella builds and dedicates a new church in honor of St. Joseph, and to his honor, he originates the pious union of St. Joseph for the suffering and dying. December 1912, he travels to the United States of America to examine firsthand the possibility of bringing help to the many Italian immigrants who are flocking there. In the following months, he sends the first six sisters to Chicago. January 1915, he is in central Italy, among the victims of a terrible earthquake. The following September, Father Guanella had a sudden stroke. During his last days, he finds the strength to encourage his confreres and the sisters. The whole world is your homeland. We can never stop as long as there are poor to be assisted and needs to be relieved. Father Luigi Guanella dies in Como on October the 24th, 1915, and places himself in the hands of God, repeating over and over, Lord, I am your faithful servant.